Hi YouTube. So just went to the antique store a couple days ago, picked up this. It's a uh, it's a Bell and Howell Filmo eight millimeter picture master. This thing is in immaculate condition. It is perfect. It came with some film. The case, people usually have them, they're all torn up. Mine is in perfect condition, I'll show you that in a minute. But the rubber on this cord is still good. And this thing... Hold on a sec. This thing still powers on. And it runs perfectly. So I looked up the manual for it. And you're supposed to flick your pilot on. And you're supposed to wait a couple seconds. While your projector warms up. And then what you want to do is. You push down here. That disengages your clutch. You want to set it to. Forward here. Never switch this switch back here. That's DC and AC. You will completely destroy your projector if you run this on DC. And now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna make sure your speed is all the way down, your projector lamp is off, and you wanna turn the projector on. Okay, so you might not be able to hear me a little bit, but it's gonna get way louder because what it has to do is since the projector is warming up, you have to lift the flap inside it that puts a protective uh, cover over the lens so you limit your light so you don't burn your film. Another YouTuber had one of these for sale. It didn't have that protective cover, I'm assuming, because that's why if you stopped it, it would burn the light. Here, if I turn the lamp on, you can see that... Well, you can't really see it very well, but... There, the lamp has a greenish hue. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn the speed up all the way. And it's going to get really loud, and you want to wait a couple seconds. And then you want to turn the lamp on. And see, now it's gotten brighter. And now when you engage it, since it's up to speed, you should get a solid white screen. And now I'll go through the loading process of this. So this one, came with all the oil and all that, all the accessories, did not come with instructions. I paid 50, like, uh, 50 bucks for this. It's got its take-up reel. This can take 16 millimeter take-up reels. So if you have an eight millimeter film and you really, really need to play it, you can use 16 millimeter take-up reels on this and, cause it fits them. And on here, So that reel goes on there. And this is a 16 millimeter reel. This is a take up, but it I had to get one that kept the size because it acts as a flywheel and it keeps this going. So you just spin it until You spin it until the hole lines up in the back. And you heard it, that snapped on. That 16 millimeter reel, it uses the ones with the square shank and a little notch in it. This, that is on there. That will not come off. And you can see it now looks much better with 
both reels. And I will now go through the loading process. And loading this can be a pain too. And the way you load this is you can see right here, there is a little hole here. You, what you want to do is you want to take your film and you want to push your film into this hole. You then want to get it to line up pretty well with the, uh, you, well, actually, correction. You don't want the film to engage into the sprocket wheel yet. You want to have it so you can pull your film out. So you then want to pull your film out a pretty good distant, distance and you want to take your focus all the way off your lens and you want to go in here and you want to lift that door and now you want to put your film in there should be a gap it'll sit in it okay so your film is now engaged in this right here in the window and now you want to push your film all the way back inside the sprocket here and you want to push this lever and then you want to tug, tug the film a little bit and you'll hear a click the film is now connected into the projector and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put your it doesn't matter about your speed here you want to put your projector in reverse and I'll turn the pilot light on so you can see this. And now you want to put your projector in reverse. And you'll notice the reel got tight. Now you're going to want to throw your projector in the reverse. Get it so where your film lines up where you want it right here then you want to push the other film the rest of the film into the second sprocket and you want to feed it under under the uh, pilot and then you want to put it up here and then you want to put it in to your take up reel It's hard to do one-handed. Okay, hold on a sec. I'm going to set this down real quick. Okay, so my film is wound onto my take up spool. I'm going to turn my pilot on. And when you want your projector to get ready to run, you're going to want to turn your pilot on, let it warm up. Mine's already warmed up. You're going to want to set your direction, turn your clutch off. You're going to want to turn the projector on. And now, right now, it's applying tension to the film. And now you're going to want to put your finger on, one finger on the lamp button, or the lamp switch, and you're going to want to put one finger on the clutch. And you're going to want to turn the clutch on and then flick your lamp on. And you're going to notice it projects. And then you're going to want to adjust it. And now that you're projecting, you can adjust your speed.
You can see very crisp picture. And if you've loaded it correctly, the film should not jump. And you're seeing it here because the frame rate is a little off on my uh, camera that I'm recording this on. But it should not be... It, uh, here, it's not flickering. You're getting a simple... If you look closely, you can see this. A it's called a film grain effect. And actually, the light in here is more yellowed. And it's more... Uh, it's duller than the coloring here. And this is what the projector looks like running. Now there is a grate behind the projector back here. You do not want to get your hands near that. It gets red hot and it will burn and singe your skin off. And as you can see, that's a 16 millimeter take up and that's an eight millimeter. And they look perfectly fine together running and there is still about maybe half an inch gap on that uh re on that spindle and it's it's on there steadily and i know some of them have rust some of these things have this has rust on it but you're going to see your film right here is jumping a little bit and that's actually supposed to happen that is these uh, little ratchets are moving at a constant pace, feeding the film in. This, there's a ratchet in here that is pulling this, and it is uh, flicking it down when, it's, when it runs. And if I can, like, if you see here, you can see it's going so fast it looks like it's moving in the opposite direction. You see, the movie's over. see here the movie has ended and the simplest thing you can do to rewind is run your film all the way back through the projector except you do not want to put the film through the projecting the part of the the projector where it would pick up the film and it would uh, play it back you don't want to put it through that what you want to do now is you want to disengage your clutch Turn your projector on in reverse with your lamp, your pilot off. I'll turn the pilot on so you can see the film better. It'll illuminate it. Your film is going to go from your take up through under these two rollers. It's going to go under the pilot so you can look and see if there's any breaks in your film when you're rewinding. It's then going to go up and then it's going to go right back on your original reel. And if you do this correctly, your film will come back up on your reel. Now I am also selling, well, no, I'm not selling this one, but I'm selling this one. This is a Chinon Whisper Dual 8. This is on my eBay. I will be listing it in the description. It is in immaculate condition as well. It plays perfectly fine lamp is still good i just do not want this because it does not look as physically attractive with the big plastic parts i like the more old metal ones but you can you can still pop one of the uh older reels onto this. Hold on 
a sec. You can still pop one of the older reels on this and standing up. It'll look pretty good. And that is like, it, that's kind of like what you would look at. And so it's, it does standard, not sorry, super eight and regular eight. So do not run standard eight or regular eight on super and do not run super on regular. It's completely fixed on the inside. It works, it powers on. I just don't have the plug on me right now. It's I have it, it's being sold in the listing. But no broken belts, as you can see. So if I spin this by hand, you can hear the ratchet go. But if I spin it in reverse, it won't go. And same with this one. So you can hear the ratchet. If I spin it this way, you can see it wants to go back. So it works completely fine. This one does not take 16 millimeter. Uh, it takes eight. That one can do 16 and eight. This one does eight. The auto reel does come off. It's a standard auto reel. This came with it when I bought it. It's got all its original paperwork. And everything works. A dial. You can see the uh, can see the little automatic take up is going on in there. So everything works. That one's for sale down there. This one is not. This one is just something I got at the antique store. And uh, that's it. Bye tubes.